¿Para quién es? ¿Para quién es el altar? Okay. El altar es para representando el Día de los Muertos, eh, a, dándole como una a bienvenida, es que cada año se celebra a los espíritus de las personas que ya no están con nosotros. Por lo regular, todo lo que se le pone al altar es lo que le gustó a las personas que ya murieron. And true. Y por eso. Por eso. This is to my family, um, to my mother primarily, and to all our relatives and um, pets as well. Center is my mother, and to the left of her is my best friend who passed away, and to the right of her is my nephew who passed away. And though those three people are the reason why I do this. Um, as years have gone by, I've added more relatives and more friends that have passed away, but um, though, that's the most special person on there is, is my mother. Oh, it means everything. This is one of my favorite holidays um, because traditionally we mourn death, and in my culture we celebrate it and we honor our our ancestors and our loved ones that have passed away and, and this is a day to do that so it means everything to me. Well I have uh, traditionally you have bread um, and you have fruit and you welcome them with drinks and you um, make it very festive with flowers and um, you light uh, a way so we have candles and we also have a pathway to welcome them up to the altar to celebrate this night with us. This is my third time here, and I've also I've also put my altar up in different places in Long Beach, where I'm from. So this is my third time, and I'm I'm happy to be back. Uh, my husband and I lost two very deeply loved people in our lives. My brother died of cancer, 35 years old. And, and my grandfather died of a broken heart, 88 years old. So his wife died the year before, and he made it one year before. Uh, so what does So so this is uh, it's probably because when you celebrate their lives and you like put all their wonderful things out and. Hope their spirits can come by and you know enjoy it. Yes, uh, my brother. When I was, uh, uh, he was. We were all. We were only like a year apart, but uh, he was very strong when he was very little, and he used to pull me in a red wagon, and I have pictures of that. And we found a red wagon, so I decided to put um, a red wagon with our picture when we were little, when he was pushing it, and uh, it is actually very, very, very emotional. Um, but this is like a healing and those, for me. And those are his shoes. Yes. So, so I hope to find closure because he just died in March. Um, his uh, struggle with cancer was terrible, but we know he's in a better place now. And this was um, a way to honor him, and that's why we did this for him. And thank you. How many times have you done it? Have you done this, this is our, our first, first time. time. Because it's our very this, first time. We've been to see the altars for four or five years, but this is the first time we yeah. actually had a reason to, you know, right. do one. And, and uh, we, we went and got, you know, all the, we have like some things that are special to them all scattered throughout it. It's, it's just full of little details, little mentos. Right. He liked cigars and he liked soccer, so he's got his soccer jersey and like a cigar. And I've got the, my grandfather's little skillet with some eggs in it because he loved cooking breakfast. Uh, well, I like the idea that uh, you know, sort of in the American culture, normally we just take the dead and hide them just like we do with our old people. And this day is a celebration of those who have passed to bring them back again. So it's like, you know, I just don't like the idea that we put dead people and the whole idea of death and don't talk about it here. It's like you talk about it, you celebrate it. And the people that were in your lives are important to you. And in my particular case, I did a thing about surfers. Uh, my brother over there died a couple of years ago. He taught me to surf. So last year when I was here, one of the altars sort of, it didn't look like a wave, but I just sort of, my brain went, hey, what well, if that was a wave? So then we, we had the, the uh, tombstones are, are surfboards, 
and like they're coming out of the grave uh, to surf again. And then um, they were all actually famous surfers who di either died surfing or were just people who were dead who were died. Our altar uh, was put together by myself and my cousins, my brothers. Uh, we call ourselves we're Los Primos, and uh, this is our third year. Uh, basically, we're commemorating all of our loved ones who have passed away. This is our dog, Voodoo, who recently passed, and so uh, we got to include her this year into the altar. You know, it's, uh, this is our little tribute. We brought her dog, Ball the Leash. You know, this, she's in our heart, so we want her to know that. Um, we also have my grandmother, a painting of my grandmother in the middle. Um, I have my uncles, grandmothers, several uncles. Uh, my cousin Eric, who was a very creative soul who passed away just recently. So again, you know, he gets to be part of the altar this year. You know, we get to honor him in this way. This day is very special to us. Uh, this is our third year doing this. And every year, um, it's been my generation. It's all my cousins. And this is something that we've done in the older generation, our aunts, our, you know, our mothers, fathers come and they really do appreciate what you know, we've come together to do. And so Day of the Dead is just really just honoring, honoring those that have passed. And uh, it's one last night we get a party with them, you know, and we'll see them again next year. For us, it's just, you know, it's, it's symbolically, it just represents that our own mortality, you know, and it, it's an excellent way to represent, you know, what's coming ahead for us. And you know, we're just celebrating life, you know, and death is part of life.